Hi, Mark. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Nice to see you. It's good to see you again. I really enjoyed this movie. It's a nail biter. It was so inspiring, but I watch it and I was like, this movie is so physically demanding, but it must have been really mentally demanding too. So talk about what you did to prepare mentally and physically to bring the story to life. You know, I probably didn't think about it as much as I should have. I committed to it and I said, okay, this is what we're going to do. I want to look the part, start training, but then not really thinking about the, you know, working out in the morning to prepare to look like an adventure racer, then actually, you know, doing different parts of a race 12 hours a day for the three months that we're shooting the movie. But once you're in it, you're in it. There's no backing out. And, you know, we look, we, we, we were inspired and awestruck by what Michael and his team would do uh, in these races for real. So we wanted to, you know, honor them. And of course, you know, the responsibility that comes with telling their story is something that we take very seriously. Absolutely. Well, and you're so vocal about the role that prayer plays in your life. We all saw your incredible commercial with Jonathan Rumi at the Super Bowl. What role did prayer play in this movie specifically and also all the different projects that you tackle? Well, listen, it's been a big part of uh, the way I start my day for decades now. So uh, it helps me get through everything, especially, you know, t to remind me of what I'm trying to do uh, on a daily basis. And also, look, I mean, I'm away from home. I miss my family. You know, I, I, again, it's got to start with gratitude. And then also, you know, the guidance and the reminder to continue to do the things that, that he wants me to do and the path that he wants me to take, because I'll always have a plan. And he changes that quite quite often so as you know when you are creating a project how do your kids factor in when you're deciding whether it's father stew or whether it's arthur the king uh well with this movie their obsession with 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 the dog who plays arthur they they, they said i am not allowed to come home without the dog <laughs> so i literally was naive enough to think that maybe there was a slight chance that uh that his owner would part ways with them and allow me because i'm the star of the movie to take the dog home. So I did ask, I told my kids I asked, and of course I got a big no, like they looked at me like I was crazy, and I completely understood. But I can't help but think about, every time I choose a role, you know, how it's going to, you know, would my wife and my kids, is something they would want to see me in. Not so much would they approve, because I, look, I just did something where, you know, I haven't played a, a bad guy for, you know, 20 something years, and I, I just did that recently, and I think my kids and wife will get a kick out of it, but, you know, um, I definitely think about, you know, if it's something that they would enjoy seeing me in. Yeah, I love that. Well, Mark, thank you so much. As always, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. God bless you.